my name is Amaranto Calindras. I am born in El Salvador, Central America. However, I moved to San Francisco when I was five months old. I like to paint animals. Um, I find that animals are archetypes in various cultures that many people can relate to. So um, I also like to bring the energy of the guardians to spaces that need to be guarded. Like this space, for example, had a break in. So we have a, a big guardian in place. Um, you know, and it also represents the movement. Um, you know, Black Panther in the Bay Area. Uh, we had the Black Panther Party, which um, you know, some people associate to sort of a militant group, but it's also symbolic of self-reliance self in the black community and um, you know, just taking care of the community with one's own resources. So I'm really grateful that the Nature Conservancy reached out to me. They were very intentional about wanting to hire a BIPOC artist. Um, which is outstanding because they're putting their money where their mouth is. My heritage is uh, black and indigenous. Uh, my grandfather is in the Caribbean and Cayman Islands. And I have great grandparents that are Maya Pipil from El Salvador. And I also have a mixture of European ancestry. Ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Mein great Ompa kommt aus Deutschland und arbeitet in Viermachen. <laughs> and um, they've helped me so much by promoting my art on their website and on their social media page, um, which has a really big following because it's a large organization. Um, you know, they buy up a lot of land everywhere and conserve nature so that future generations can enjoy the outdoors and so that wildlife has a place to live and thrive. In the indigenous culture, a black panther is a very strong Nawal, and it's what we say in Nahuatl, it's a Nawal, it's a guardian, it's a protector. Um, I wanted to put this protector here in this space to guard this building so that it would repel anything negative, any negative energies that we're trying to approach. <laughs> So we're here in Southeast Portland on Southeast 15th and Morrison and behind Nostrana restaurant. And this is the Ladies Up project. So it is an all women's mural block. Every single artist was a woman. And it was really fun making this tiger. I did it in spray paint. I'm the only spray paint artist on the team. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about the symbolism. So above the tiger, we have this golden sphere or a golden orb. It could represent its higher self. It could represent uh, the creator, Ra. It can represent life um, or the sun. And then from that orb, we have these arms that are reaching out and they have hands. And in the hands is the symbol of the Ankh, which is an Egyptian symbol for life. And so you have the tiger, which is uh, guarding life. It's you know, sitting before life. And this was created during the first week of the George Floyd protests. You know, so of course everyone's thinking about the loss of life. And that was kind of the message I wanted to convey is that life is precious and it's sacred and it should be protected. Um, I also wanted to give a nod to African culture, which is why I like putting a little touch of Egyptian symbolism in it. And uh, I used some neon colors to make it stand out from the other murals to give some color therapy to the viewer and a nice connection gaze in the eyes with this tiger. And it's from a rescue center. That's where I get the source from, the images from. And it's a tiger that's been through a lot. So it has passion in its gaze and it might have a look of seriousness. Um, and that's kind of how I was feeling that week. It was sort of a, a serious uh, sense in the air about what was going on. Beat it, beat it, beat it.